Hello everyone, I'm back with the Planar 8. Uh, this time I have the uh, Afida 2 mounted on this cartridge now. Um, if you haven't watched my previous video on the Brega Planar with the Anya, I'll post a link up there. Um, so this video uh, is broken down into chapters. Um, if you uh, bring your mouse cursor over the timeline at the bottom, you'll see it's divided into sections. And so for those of you who want to go straight to the sound quality impressions, uh, you can do so on the conclusions, you can do so. But first, I'd like to spend a little bit of time talking through the differences between the Afera 2 versus the Anya moving coil cartridges. So the uh, Anya had an elliptical stylus with a plastic body. This Afera has a, um, a line contact stylus, has aluminum in its body. Um, those are the major differences and of course I think uh, the dampening characteristics of the suspension of the two cartridges vary considerably. So that's um, a 1900 USD if you bought it uh, uh, separately from the turntable. But if you buy it with the Riga Planar 8, you get the Afera 2, which is probably now up. Uh, uh, there's an Afera 3 model out too. But the Afera 2, uh, instead of being 1900 USD, would be 1300 USD as a package discount with the Riga Planar 8. Okay, so the Afera 2 being a line contact versus the Anya being an elliptical stylus lends the Afera to be able to extract more from the grooves. So there is more, the, the line contact area that the stylus makes in the grooves is extended. And with that extended contact area, also comes some challenges uh, while tracking high frequency in in terms of resonance so that's been addressed um, the the, uh, the insides of the Afera 2 are considerably improved from the original Afera model and of course versus the Anya what you're getting for uh, the jump in price is um, uh, better Tracking, lower distortion, improved phase uh, response of the uh, stylus tracking the groups. Uh, and this just results in overall better resolution. I'll go in through the uh, sound quality um, uh, impressions in a little bit as well. So with the Afera 2 being a line contact, uh, Cartridges with line contact styli require a very careful setup. They require precise uh, vertical tracking angle. And given that this is a Rega tone arm with a three point mounting, that is that makes life so much easier. You connect the, uh, well, if you buy the Planar 8 with the Afera 2, it comes set up. You just bring it home, uh, maybe check the tracking force, uh, but you're done. There is no alignment required because it's already done for you. But um, if you had the Anya on this, like I did, and uh, if you're stepping up to the Afera, um, no problems. You connect the tone arm leads, you sync those three uh, uh, bolts in, and alignment is guaranteed and uh, here you have the line stylus of the Afera uh, improving uh, tracking and detail extraction from your grooves uh, specific, especially in the inner grooves where uh, the other styli sort of struggle with getting the details uh, this line contact styli does a fantastic job Hey, let's talk about some of the um, sound quality improvements that I 
noticed over the um, Anya and P8 setup. So, uh, you all have seen me talk about this album often. It's a very popular one, Eagles. Uh, Hell Freeze is over. Again, my favorite tracks. I Can't Tell You Why and New York Minute. Uh, the P8 and the Anya already does a fantastic job rendering detail and uh, the emotional um, connection with, with the song. Uh, and then the Afera comes along, Afera 2 comes along and takes it to a whole another level. Uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of bass in this uh, album and uh, the Anya brought out some great details um, and the Afera too now brings out greater detail. You can actually uh, hear the growl much better and more defined the growl of the bass guitar on, on uh, this album, on these songs, I said, uh, just is represented even better with the Afera 2. Uh, voices are clear, the whole spectrum is just clear. Uh, way more detail. And if you are a uh, soundstage and imaging guy like me, you would just enjoy this. Uh, the light on the sound stage is fantastic. Depth rendition is uh, very well made. Um, so second album here, Analog Pressing, uh, Colvin Hawkins and Oscar Peterson Trio. Uh, the song, first song, Maria. I've played this uh, quite a bit now. Uh, again, fantastic with the P8 and Anya combination and the Afera combination now uh, has just even more, de it brings now refinement. So along with the detail that we had on the Anya, the Afera 2 now brings in refinement. Um, there's, uh, the highs are a little more cleaner, cleaner than the Anya. The bass is deeper and more defined than the Anya. And uh, uh, when uh, the Hawk and the uh, and and Ben Webster, when they start exchanging their turns in playing uh, the saxophone and the trumpet, it's uh, a beautiful experience. Um, lots lots of detail to enjoy in this. Um, third up is Mobile Fidelity Pressing of Santana Three. Uh, one of my favorite tracks here is the track Taboo. And here's uh, what I experience, what I'm experiencing now sonically with the Afera 2 is as though someone brought in their guitars and plugged it into an amp live in the room. And uh, the dynamics. I think that's a product of dynamics. Um, so dynamics over the Anya is very well rendered here. Um, clarity in sound, uh, while being a forte of Anya, now the affair brings in uh, more civility, I should say, especially in high frequencies. Uh, so that's uh, and because there's a lot of uh, a lot going on in this track, in these tracks in this album, uh, it can get a little not heavy, but a lot of instruments coming and it's it's very it's very organized. The sound is very organized, no clutter, excellent uh, decay of uh, symbols and uh, layering of the sound stage is fantastic. Now, I have to throw in the Bill Evans Live. This is another um, analog productions pressing. Um, side two has Mother of Earl and Nardis. Nardis is the longer uh, track here, and um, Bill Evans is flying away with notes. Uh, 
you know, as he hits the piano hard, the keys hard, there are times he does it softly and then changes pace to ringing the keys hard on his piano. And you can, um, there are some nuances that I did not pick up uh, uh, on the Anya that I'm really enjoying on the Afera. Uh, again, the speed and the uh, texture and the standing bass instrument um, played by, I think it's uh, Gomez on bass here, um, it does this, this affair too, does a fantastic job. And of course, there is an explosive drum solo. And I'm talking, again, texture of drums, bass drum and snare. The brush and the impact of the stick on the snare is just is so crystal clear. Um, fantastic. Uh, lastly, Blood, Sweat and Tears, uh, Mofi, One Step, fantastic recording, Blues Part 2 here, done so well, again, drum solo is fantastic, uh, more, dynamis, uh, more dynamics um, compared to the Anya, more clarity compared to the Anya, more, more of everything compared to the Anya, and in comparison, you could say the Anya was maybe a little tipped up in the high frequency response. Not bright at all. Not bright at all. It's only when you hear them in comparison, you find the refinement aspect in the Afera too. And I, uh, I've really come to appreciate that. Okay, guys, in conclusion, I have to say this uh, P8 and Afera uh, 2 cartridge exceeds by a large amount what I heard with the, um, uh, with the Anya mounted on here. Uh, so not only does it give you more detail, but it does so in a very uh, refined manner. Um, this is this table. I borrowed this from my friend Rob who owns uh, No Noise Record Store. This is his personal table. And uh, I was joking to him, but I really meant it. It's like, uh, hey man, when I play music on the uh, P8 and the uh, Anya or the Afera, uh, I feel like I should, you know, dress up or something and listen to music because the, the, the presentation is so, uh, it's, it's, it's like you set time for yourself and you, and you, uh, and you enjoy the presentation here. Um, guys, if you are in the Toledo area and you're looking to audition some Riga gear, like the Planar 8 um, with the Riga amplification, uh, etc., go and visit him. Uh, Rob is a great guy. It's a no noise uh, record store in Hi Fi. He is the um, dealer for uh, Riga. Uh, cord hi-fi electronics and fine audio speakers amongst uh, this is a few names I'm uh, uh, I'm mentioning here so uh, please go give them um, uh, a shout if you want to go and listen to this gear in action as always thank you guys for watching please subscribe if you found this uh, video useful I'm still planning to uh, do one more of the Planar 8 um, with a non Riga cartridge um, and to see how that sounds versus the uh, Afera 2. Uh, thanks all. You guys have a good day.